What's good, YouTube? And welcome to Playmat Review. The Ink Ritual has sent me three of their new playmats up on their site. This is a sponsored review. These mats were sent to me for free, as well as paid advertisement. But I get to say whatever I want, discuss whatever I want with them, and I'll say their process is one of my favorites in terms of their limited mats. There's absolutely no resistance offered with how they do the ink into these mats, and you don't even see drag lines on on them definitely a premium play mat in my opinion and their cost is extra in order to create them which is why they charge more i do really like also how they got the red inks right early into their career I know a lot of mat companies actually struggle with getting reds into their playmats incorporated and they tend to fade a little bit faster. They've gone with deep, dark, red, rich lines that really go against the blue and I appreciate what they've done. Now these are all supposed to be 65 by 65, but both of my limited mats are a little bit smaller than the yokai mats, but they're still bigger than their old limited mats and I'll show uh, actually the Halloween limited mat against these uh, and how actually different the corners are because this gets almost completely swallowed uh, to the field. So you can see here the every single border is just dwarfing this by a bit but not a drastic amount you're not going to be pushing into your neighbor at an event it's just a little bit more for when you fold there's extra plush as well as extra space my elbows fit almost perfectly on it as a bit of a bigger guy right so i also really love their sleeves by the way these are the turquoise from them and i asked for them for my past formats these are actually not to like in any way supposed to be endorsed in this video it's their play mats only but i do really like their sleeves so if you're getting their mats, you might want to try a pack out for yourself. I put them on, again, all my past format decks because I trust them for longer term and I like to use my past format a good bit. So pink and turquoise are my two favorite there. When it comes to these two mats, they do feel like a bit of a different fabric. The gray has more of this marbled fluffy texture to me and the inking in the middle does seem similar where you can hear a bit of a raise versus you weren't going to get any of that on say the uh limited mat however i don't think that this makes it fail the drag test i haven't been able to damage any sleeves and you can see i've been uh extensively doing that uh over here and then rubbing it on out of the play mat but when it comes down to it i feel like the mat would actually damage before a sleeve which is exactly what you want in a mat as weird as that sounds because you don't want to have marked cards in a tournament setting you want it to be able to glide through the fabric as it is without any resistance and and then there is a little resistance here, but not enough to where it would damage the sleeve before it gives way itself. And I think that would take extensive time of really going at it. And why are you doing that in the middle of your play mat versus back here? I'm not going to ask all those questions of you of why you would be doing it that way. But seriously, I tend to flip the back row from more back here. And there's pretty much no resistance in that range. When it comes down to it, it passes every single test. Like if we're going for the glide, you're going to get a good glide. It's going to also give you, uh, again, not the most important one, the drag test. It's not going to give that resistance in most places. And it's going to give before it would hurt your sleeve. The blue is actually my favorite with these sleeves specifically and we do it live over here oh man unfortunately one take testing but seriously when it comes down to the blue play mat i do really enjoy it uh, and the colors remind me of a certain famous playmat in the community but the blue on light blue definitely is great and that extra size again is perfect for me personally but uh, when it comes down to it like you want your playmat to perform you want to be able to glide i went into the curve there eventually this will obviously as you use it uh, not be folded as much either uh, the playmat has the kind of typical frosted bag as well as the card that tells you exactly what playmat you have. Uh, for example, this would be for the stone, the gray 
playmat and you have the frosted bag that this would come in so you can choose to fold it or you know leave it in your backpack as you will so it really depends on if you want the uh fold lines to stay and fold it up regularly or just kind of throw it in the backpack but i think that this one has less of a marble texture more of a through texture I can see the drag lines a good bit more. Again, it doesn't resist though, which is exactly what you want. And I'm a big fan. Dank Ritual is doing a great job. I hope they keep it up. I suppose the final thing to bring up is the uh, stitching, which goes in a downward motion away from the mat, which is what you want it to be doing. And overall, it's a really good job on the side stitching for a cloth mat. I give these easily a 9 out of 10 i would say a 9.5 for their limiteds where again zero resistance at all and a really cool method in order to make uh the colors pop i'd like to see them explore more backings if possible for that laser print but i don't know uh what would let it pop as much as the one that they do and it's kind of becoming their signature so i understand why they're using that if it is possible, I'd like to see different backings for a different range, such as their main line of uh, regular playmats that MSRP, I believe, $60 for these. There's no discount code. I'm not trying to continuously sell you something, by the way, even though this is a sponsored video. I don't have an incentive per sale. I don't have those kind of things. So when it comes down to it, when I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, I really personally enjoy it. Uh, but again, great job by Dank Ritual. I suggest the sleeves, certainly do. I am a user and will continue to use the sleeves on my past format decks when you're seeing me. Thanks for watching everybody and their website will be linked down below.